Hey guys, Tyler from Team CCI. Uh, I'm going to be reviewing Big Top Craft e liquid today. Um, I wanted you guys to see the juice that's been thrown around a little bit lately. Um, it's on sale at umelixir.com for 25 and some change plus shipping. Uh, I want to start off by saying that. I don't particularly care for custard vapes, or I don't particularly care for custard vapes. I vaped a pile of fog fuel pearl flake to the point of where the taste of it would make me feel like I was getting physically ill. Um, I went through my custard phase, done, that was it. So. I'm going to give you my unbiased opinion of these. If you like custard and you're on the fence about pulling the trigger on these three, you should definitely do it. Uh, got Freak Show. Uh, let's see if I can. Beautiful label art on these. Um, also, really good quality drippers. Try to get this empty as I can. There we go. Really good. Because I don't like. That's a pet peeve of mine if the dripper can't pick up a lot of juice. Um, Acrobat. Strawberry custard. Lion tamer. Which is a apple cinnamon custard with a hint of hazelnut. I'm going to start with Freak Show. Uh, I don't know if it's the build that I was running. I did not get vanilla ice cream. I got a vanilla custard. Now, in a video I tried to do before this, but choked a lot on words, I actually took this out of the bottle. Eh, it's three milligram. It won't kill me. Put a little bit on my finger. It tastes like vanilla ice cream with the caramel. I think it might have just been the build that I was running, or maybe the juice I had in before it. it was, I vaped like 5 milliliters out of each one of these, and I was switching back and forth, so it might just be leftover custard. It tastes fan -fan yeah, fantastic. Um, I really enjoyed it. It was... Uh, <laughs> it tastes like vanilla ice cream in a cone. It was really cool. Um, because I, I put it in my tank, I was running these on the Triforce at 90 watts with a .32 coil, so I didn't really get, now I'm using 24 gauge, so if you're using something like 28, it might pick up on the sweeter notes a little more, or, I don't know, maybe, maybe doing it in series isn't a good idea because it's at 5.36 volts, um, but, I got a, str a straight vanilla custard from it, which, even with what I said at the beginning of this video, I still really enjoyed it. Um, it didn't give me the nausea that I normally get from custard vapes. So, all in all, Freak Show, even though I didn't get what the flavor profile said from vaping it out of this, I dripped it and I got I got the vanilla ice cream from it and a little bit of sweetness from the cone. So I mean it was quite shocking to actually see someone nail that flavor as well as Nick did. <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, now the next one will be Acrobat. I I've tried custards that say, oh, it's such and such and custard, such and such and custard, such as these two. Then all I would get is custard. Like, the custard would be overpowering and choke it out. You can taste fresh strawberry in this with the custard. It's not one thing overpowers the other. It, it is it's strawberry custard. like it, And it's that real nice fresh strawberry, not a uh, candy, not a fake strawberry. It's... It's pretty much like strawberries and cream, just with the cream being more robust and is custard. So I was very impressed with this as well. 
<clears throat> Lion Tamer, Apple Cinnamon, Custard with a hint of hazelnut. Um, I would say that Lion Tamer is probably my favorite out of the three because you can get the apple and the cinnamon and the custard. Uh, a lot of times, apples are uh, very hard to bring out in multiple flavors. Um, like if, especially apple and cinnamon, you normally get more cinnamon than you do apple. But it's a really good balance between the three. And I, I was, <laughs> I'm blown away by these three. And for the price point where you get, you get 90 milliliters for under 30 bucks. That's less than, I want to say less than 30 cents a mil. I don't know. I don't have a calculator on me to math it out. Um... Nah, it, yeah, it is under 30. If you like custard or have ever liked custard, and maybe you're custarded out, um, and you're thinking about these, pull a trigger. Um, you won't be disappointed. The flavor in all three of these is fantastic. Uh, they're not real thick. I don't know if you'll be able to see it. Probably not. Yeah, a little bit. It's not real thick, but it still seemed to cloud decent. I'm not sure what the ratios of these are. I didn't see it advertised anywhere. It's not on the bottle. Uh, they come in 0, 3, 6, and 12, I believe. As soon as I find it. Yep. I was right. Uh... <laughs> uh I don't, I'm kind of speechless when it comes to these because it it changed my perspective on custards because I figured a custard is a custard is a custard as so many other juice companies have it. Uh, these are not your typical custards. Um, Nick, you should be, should be very proud of yourself for these. Um, they're delicious. Uh, I asked you in a message if you would like me to do an in-depth review of them, and I'm pretty sure you were sleeping, but I decided to do it anyway because I feel like people should probably hear that this stuff is genuinely awesome. Um, I talked to Uncle Mike and told him earlier that I didn't get the... I didn't get the vanilla ice cream taste from it because I was running it in my tank and <clears throat> you know, he's like oh well, you know maybe that's just your palate well I think it's whatever I was doing in here because I did drip it a little bit and it came out so that was my fault um, <clears throat> excuse me uh, so yeah, um, I don't really know what else to say. I'm not typically a reviewer of sorts. Uh, I just wanted to let Nick know that his juice is awesome. Let you guys know that his juice is awesome. Uh, I need to probably spend some more time with these to help uh, fuel my rethinking of custard flavors because... Uh, I don't know. These are going to go quick. I, I can tell you that. I'm probably going to smash through all these very quickly. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope that my descriptions kind of help you out a little bit in getting some really good priced. He doesn't advertise as premium, but it seems like very premium quality to me. Uh, I can tell you after vaping 15 mils of this stuff, I went to go re-wick my tank afterwards and my coils were not gunked up. So also it's very clean burning because I know a lot of people worry about, oh, if this juice has too much sweetener, it will uh, 
dunk your coils up real quick. You have to change your cotton maybe more than once a day. And we all know that sucks. This juice will not do that. At least not after 15 mils in a tank burning at five and a half volts. So I imagine 4.2 would be about the same because it's not going to get as hot <clears throat> or anything like that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Um, Nick, I hope you are proud of your product because I know I would be. If I created this, I would be a very proud man. Um, I hope to see you pick up more sales. Um, not because of what I'm doing for you, but because I hope people try this and tell other people that, like the, the custard game has changed because uh, this is this juice has exceeded all expectations I have had in the custard ever. So with that, um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, have a good night, day, whatever time you get to see this. Hopefully. <laughs> The rest of your time will be good. Uh, if you're thinking about pulling trigger, do it. That's umelixir.com. I have a link in the title. Uh, you guys keep it cloudy. Uh, 